everyone. Welcome to today's coffee chat. Today I want to answer a question we recently had from our Facebook group and that is what exactly should I send in with my child's application as far as supporting the diagnosis? Um, so that's kind of an interesting question. Obviously you're sending in the birth certificate, social security card, those kinds of documents. But as far as documentation goes, what I recommend is you send in anything that supports the diagnosis that you've checked the box for. So the two categories that are kind of debatable or have some wiggle room are autism and intellectual disability. So with both of those, you would send in school IEPs, anything that indicates the level of support your child needs because of that disability, but also information that shows the characteristics um, and the symptoms that come along with it. The things I would not send in are things that diagnose mental illness um, and things that spotlight um, certain other conditions like ADHD, OCD, um, if your kiddo has some medical things going on in addition to, then I would be a little hesitant and cautious to send all of that in. Um, you definitely don't want it to be used against your child. Like you don't want to send in information that could make it seem like your son's autism and the symptoms that are coming from it are actually more symptoms of ADHD. Um, so try to send in the stuff that's as straightforward as possible. I would definitely send in all therapy records, ABA, speech, OT, and PT, and as many IEPs as far back as you can go. Um, the other piece of advice would be to try to send in things that demonstrate the worst of it. Um, you want the level of need to be as high as possible. You really want that paperwork to be demonstrative of what's going on and the level of care your child really needs. So I hope that helps everyone and doesn't lead to more confusion. Have a great day.